friends this video is all about diy of gornethai's outfit so i used to make all the outfits for gornethai for radha krishna for madhva and for ladu kupalji as well so i i always play with different detailings and different colors with uh, and i used to make the outfits which are, which is uh, which are not easily available out there in the market so uh, i used to love it i love doing all these things and friends if you uh, as you have seen in the pictures uh, as this dress i just made for janmashtami for gornethai and in this video i just demonstrate you what detailings i have used and how the dress is uh, uh, how the dress is looking uh, how the dress uh, came out like so if you want to learn how i made these dresses and want to uh, learn uh, the full uh, uh, method of how i used to make it so you can comment below uh, in the bottom part of this video uh, so uh, whatever dress you want to learn for madhva or Girdhari or Kornetai or anyone like sort of or turban or chadar or whatever you want to learn it so uh, that's all and if you like this video so please uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends as well and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please let me know if you want to see some other videos regarding like DD outfits or jewelry or kind of thing because I used to make these kind of things every other day because I love it it's kind of a service uh, I used to uh, render to Krishna and for all the devotees and all the people who having uh, uh, Krishna or Kirthari deities uh, they having so I love to refer these services to them so that's all uh, Friends, uh, as you can see here, this is the dhoti and the bottom part of uh, Nithai's dress. No, not the, these are not the part of this. And this is the kurta and this is the beautiful turban out there. These are the tassels in the sleeves area. This is uh, the ornaments. And this, is, and this dress is for uh, Chitanya Mahaprabhu. These are details of everything you see. Uh, it's so beautiful. So if you want to, uh, let me demonstrate you like this. Maybe you won't understand it like this. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to demonstrate you like this. As you can see this. Can you see this? Hi, bowl. Yeah, this is, you see, beautiful turban of Nithai. Uh, what are the, uh, I have made, uh, I made uh, the equal turban, the similar turban for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as well. What are the difference? Can you, uh, can, can you differentiate it? Uh, I mean, the difference uh, in this is only one that uh, this is for uh, this is, and this uh, bow is uh, for the right side, and this is for the left left side, and because it will give a beautiful and togetherness kind of feeling. So that's all. Hope you like it. And this is the turban and come for the ornaments. You see, this is the neck piece I have created. This is the emerald green color, and this neck piece is simple, sober, beautiful, and elegant. And this green color I haven't given anywhere in the outfit but why I gave this color to add on a different color and it will give a beautiful look when worn on the you know on the outfit and I have made these two these are similar to and I have even have made some yeah you see some of the Chadar, Chadar, Chitani Mahaprabhu used to wear it like this on on his neck, and it's like this. You can uh, understand if you don't know what is Chadar is. Chadar is for you know, as a stall they used to wear it, 
these are similar to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nitin Prabhu they used to wear equal and the similar dresses sometimes uh, Nitin and Prabhu used to wear blue outfit and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as he is the incarnation of Krishna so he used to wear yellow outfit but we can make similar outfit to them they a used to like it and this is the you see this is the dhoti isn't it beautiful this is the dhoti these are the boots and this is the back this is like this you see it's beautiful isn't it and we have a uh, similar dhotis for for any thighs and for Gauranga Mahaprabhu and this is the kurta you see it's so beautiful these uh, fabric this fabric I've used in raw silk in magenta color the base color if you can see and uh, the whole fabric is embroidered with sequins and the thread it's so beautiful and in the inner part of this kurta I have used the cotton pink color cotton fabric and at the back of this I just used plain uh, raw silk fabric and detailings I have added some beautiful different detailings which you won't get in the market outfit area here when they uh, they'll, they'll do when they will do this haribol pose so this tussle will fall like this and it will look so beautiful you see and it's so beautiful and i have made i have added another tussle here and this you know kind of not stuff here so it will give a fitting kind of a thing we can make it fit to their waist and uh, this is golden magenta color and i have added different you know a silhouette to uh, this kurta and we having the similar kurta for Gornathai you can see and these are the another things like we can uh, these are uh, when I was making chogun so uh, first first of all when I was making it so it, it went wrong so I these are the leftover areas which I didn't use so but still we can use it in decoration or other kind of a thing you know see so I, I haven't um, I, I kept it like this so that's all uh, and we can uh, for the forehead we can put these uh, green color bindis to Chitana Mahaprabhu and Nithantu and I have made some you know gifts as it's Janmashmi outfit so I created this you know small small gifts just for decoration purpose uh, around their lotus feet area so that's all if you like this video give it a thumbs up and please uh, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching Hare Krishna Hare Bhav.